look up to as an icon? Who did you grow up looking up to? My older brothers. All right. Um, and sister. Okay. I was the youngest of four kids. Uh, but um, in a cricketing sense, uh, obviously anyone that was on the international stage, I, I just didn't think that they were real. Uh, didn't think they were humans. But uh, yeah, all, all, you know, Rod Marsh, Dennis Lilly, that, that era. Player. England, David Gow was a guy I always loved to watch. Uh, and in latter years, when we were younger, we didn't seem to get much coverage of, of Indian cricketers and Good Pakistani actually. cricketers. Mm -hmm. But as uh, pay TV came in, we started to see a bit more Good of it. So obviously, there's some greats of the game there. You know, Kapil Dev and uh, Ravi Shastri had a great summer yeah. in Australia. So all those guys. We know this one story where the, the first time a fan came up to you, he called you Gil Church. If you remember that, Eric Gil Church. Eric Gil Church. Yeah. And uh, then they gave you the name Church. So how, how do you feel about that now, about that incident, if you look back on it? Funny. Funny? It's good humour, yeah. 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 And what, what about then? What did you feel then? Did you feel bad? Nah, it was even funnier then. Yeah. It's a shame my teammates heard it because that's the nickname <laughs> I've been stuck with. But uh, no, that's alright. You, you can't ever expect everyone in the world to know who you are. Yeah. That young boy certainly didn't know who I was. Something about the music you like? Any particular bands or just... Uh, pretty generic, but you too would have to be my favourite. You too? Yeah. Okay, so you used to bunk school and go to concerts, something like that? I've had the good fortune of being to about seven U2 concerts. So. Do you have any stories? You got caught any time? Uh, no, not caught, <laughs> not caught wagging school to go to a concert, but I had a weird experience at the last concert I saw U2, which was only in uh, in December, just gone. All right. Where uh, Bono actually mentioned my name on stage. So oh wow! That was pretty weird. That feels cool, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think he knows who I am, but he mentioned my name. <laughs> so exactly, you have so many fans now. You uh, people know you all over the world. Do you feel there's a difference in the Australian fans and the Indian fans, or it's similar? We love the game in Australia. Huh. Over here, it's fanaticism. Okay. Absolutely fanatical about it. It's like religion. So whatever we think we love about it, times it by a thousand, and that's an Indian fan. Mm -hmm. It's a tremendous passion. Okay. So if I ask you one person who you are a fan of, who would you say? Yeah, lots. <laughs> lots of people. Too many to single one out. But, okay. Uh, I had, the not, I had the good fortune of meeting the Dalai Lama the other day. Oh, okay. I like his approach to life. Yeah, it's very calm. And... Okay, we have a little fan message for you. His name is uh, Prakash Govind right. Srinivasan. Right. Going by the usual Gilchrist standards, you had a pretty average tournament. This is about uh, the World Cup in Sri Lanka. Okay. Well, critics said that, but I never agreed. You scored at an average of around 40, and you were said to have a poor World Cup. Till the final against Sri Lanka. I was gutted by India's early exit, but your knock of 145 in the final made me cry. I still have images of you showing the squash ball to your coach, fresh in my mind. Thank you for being such a wonderful player and here sincerely hoping that you keep coming back to this country and keep playing because this country surely loves you. Very nice words. Anything you want to say to him? Fortunately, Kakashi, it's not too accurate. It was 149 in the final, not 145. He said 149. I did. Sorry, you, so you misread it. Yeah, I missed it. I'm I sorry. Doubt, Prakash. Sorry, Prakash. Yeah, Prakash, you're a legend. You know exactly what you're talking about. Um, thank you very much for that message, mate. It's um, very, very nice and heartfelt. Any, any last words to the fans of India who love you so much, who want you to come every year? Thank you for the support. Thanks for for loving the game that, that I love as well so much and uh, it's always a pleasure to be here.